Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson. Welcome into this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where we're kind of did two time and jumping off of an older tutorial about uh, inking some sketch artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to talk about coloring it and shading it. At least one of the techniques that I like to use and mess around with it. It's quick, it's easy. I think you'll have a whole bunch of fun with it. And if you do enjoy this Illustrator tutorial, well, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss any other graphic design or Adobe Illustrator related tutorials in the future. With that out of the way, let's jump into Illustrator and check this thing out. Okay, okay, here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and I have this inked sketch. Again, I'm, we made this in an earlier tutorial. I'll toss the link for that short video up on screen now. It should be in the top corner of uh, the YouTube player. Now, I like to begin the coloring and shading process by building out my highlights and shadows first. And this process begins by first, well, create a new layer and drag it directly below our inked artwork. We've got these really thick inked lines here. I'll name this layer Gray Base. And then I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab the blob brush tool from my toolbar over on the left side of Adobe Illustrator. Um, in fact, I'm going to double click the tool icon and I'm going to set the brush size to something large. I'll go here with like 70 points or so. And I'm also going to tick off the keep selected option and then hit OK. Next, I'm going to click on my fill color and I'm going to set it to 50% gray. I just want to reduce my saturation all the way down. Uh, your hue can be whatever as long as saturation is turned all the way down and then brightness is set to 50%. You've got a nice 50% gray. And then go ahead and I'm going to paint with this to create just a big gray a rough blob shape beneath those inked lines to just lay down an initial base. After I do that, I'm going to create a new layer. Make sure it's just above this gray blob. And I'm going to name this layer Shadows. So again, this should be above the gray blob but still below our inked lines. Grab the blob brush again and double click on it. This time we're going to reset the brush tip size to five points. That's going to work really well for the document that I have. I'm going to set my fill color to black. And before I begin painting, I'm going to go over and open the transparency panel. And I'm going to set this to multiply and the 35% opacity. Once I have that set, I'll just burn through this little painting and just sketch in all my shadows as I see fit. If you miss up a little bit of shading, just hit Command or Control Z to undo that stroke and try painting it again. It's really, really forgiving and it's kind of pretty easy as well. You can take as much or as little time for this step as you like. Just get it right. You know, find something that you like and roll with that. Now, once I've wrapped up, I've got my shadows in place. It's time to create another new layer on top of this one. And I'm going to name this layer Highlights. Once again, I'm going to grab the Blob Brush tool. And here, I'm going to set my fill color to white. And once again, use that transparency panel. And I'm going to set this tool to the Overlay Blend mode and 30% opacity. Now, I'm just going to go through and brush in the highlights where I see fit. After we've laid down our highlights, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to hide the gray base layer. We can knock that out now. We're ready to start adding our color. And I'm going to create a new layer. This one is going to live underneath the shadow and highlight layer and also underneath our inked lines layer. I'm going to go ahead and name this layer coloring. And I'm going to grab the blob brush tool. I'm going to reset it, make sure I've got the transparency panel open, reset it to a normal blend mode and 100% opacity. Uh, these are the colors I'm going to use. If you want to check out the hex codes for the colors, we can do that. We've got this dark brown here. It is 75, 4C, 29. We have a lighter brown, kind of more of a tan, I guess, at B5, 8F, 59. We've got this very bright yellow at FF, DE, 17. And finally, I've got this nice red color here at ED1C24. Now, when I'm coloring, generally speaking, there's so many different ways to go about this. But when I begin, I generally like to begin with the colors I'll be using the most of. So here, I'm going to grab the tan color because I know this is going to be this little hamster's skin color or fur color, really. And I'm going to open and adjust the blob brush again just to get a little bit of a larger brush by double-clicking on that icon. And in this case, I'm going to tick on the Keep Selected functionality. So as I'm painting, when I stop painting, uh, that blob will remain selected. So when I pick up painting again, if I intersect that paint blob, it will just merge as one shape automatically. We really don't want a series of disjointed strokes here. Now, next, I'll paint in the bulk of the body color and set a solid base of color for ourselves. We're, we're getting ready to uh, add all the different colors to the collars and the little buttons and his cape and, and everything else. Uh, I don't even mind if a little bit of the paint from this step leaks out over the cape or the collar or the hat because we're going to be painting over this and it's going to cover all that stuff up. So we really don't need to be super duper precise in all the areas here as we're just laying down sort of a rough base coat. 
Now we're going to go ahead and use the other colors, and I'm going to paint the color into the hat, that very dark brown, and the dark brown also for his collar. Uh, now, if this paint leaks over into other parts of the drawing, you can just go ahead and grab the direct selection tool and select the path points that are kind of leaking over, and just, you know, drag those back over and just tuck, tuck everything back underneath those big thick lines of the inking that we did. It's going to allow us to hide kind of all the rough edges beneath that and create just a beautiful, perfect edge uh, for our drawing here. Now, after I wrap up the painting in this hat and in both of the collars, I'm going to go ahead and grab the yellow color. And this, we're going to paint the little badge marker thing that I put on his hat. We'll make that this gold yellow color. And then also the gold buttons on his collar, we'll make them yellow. And also this sort of necktie or scarf apparatus that he's got around his neck here, we'll make that yellow as well. And again, grab the direct selection tool, clean up anything that, you know, any wayward strokes, anything that's shooting out or sticking out anywhere that it shouldn't. And lastly, I'm going to grab the red color, and here I'll paint in the, the cape region to complete the colored effect. If you need to go into the blob brush and adjust the size a little bit, adjust the size a little bit, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you need for your particular sketch. And as I did before, any wild strokes, anything that's going a little crazy, just grab the direct selection tool, clean it right up, drag those anchor points and those paths right underneath the thick line of that inked path that we sketched um, as I covered in uh, the slightly older Illustrator tutorial. Now, after all that's finished, you could choose to color in a little ground plane or just leave it as I have, just leave it as it is. And you can see very quickly, you can go from just a pencil sketch in a notebook, scan it into your computer, ink it, color it, add some shading and highlights, have some fun with it. And very, very quickly, you can create a very cool little piece of vector artwork here in Adobe Illustrator. And that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. Turn those notifications on so you never miss a video in the future. For coloring and shading, working with 50% uh, gray blob color and, heck, the blob brush, right? And all of that kind of crisscross shading pattern and highlight stuff and coloring stuff and everything else we cover in this video. Guys, for this one, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.